guys, time for another what I've been melting and yes, it's another lot of empties again uh, quite a bit less of things that I haven't finished but I am going to try and go through my items now so I'm trying more um, so I'm going to start with the empties and go down the list if I feel so I always do focus I always do a list of what I thought about items. Some items I don't have anymore because I have these stashed them straight away. But I'll get to that when I do get to that. So I'm just going to start off straight away with one that I know I haven't completely finished. This is Tiffany Candles Chunklets, which are chamomile with green tea over four. I finished this bag because I sent some to a friend and I had one left, so I popped that in my other bag. This is one of my all-time favourite scents. I will always try and get her to make this if I can. Um, Tiffany, this blend is amazing. You know how much I love it. You know how much I'll always order it from you. Um, the other one that's technically not an empty is some pop more balls. I use these to clean out my melter just because it's simpler and easier for me when I only have the one melter. But I tend to have every other month now for some reason. I'm not melting as much. Let's get into the actual melt reviews. The first one I've got is Air Pure and this is in fresh linen. This one I have used the whole clam up. There is some in my wax melts for this next month so you will see it again. Um, I love this scent. It looks amazing. I will be repurchasing this when my project clam is over. So fresh. So it's almost like a floral scent. But it's so relaxing. Two cubes is amazing with this one. It fills up the whole room. One cube could probably do it enough, but I like a strong throw permanently. I will be repurchasing that when I can find it. The next one I've got, I'm just going to go down my actual list that I've got here. So the next one I've got is Airwick Summer Delights. Now I showed this in my last melt review because I just popped it on and I had to add another cube into it that did increase the throw it did throw it a lot more so this technically is, has only got one melt left um i'll probably be popping this on today because that means another clam is done in my project clam the next one i've got is l3 dreamweaver which was a lavender blend i'm sorry but i hated this blend i don't have very much good luck with l3 i will probably stop getting their stuff once um my clams are done I ended up sending this to a friend because she really liked it, but I felt like it smelled like cinnamon, which really doesn't go with lavender if you ask me personally. Um, but I will be carrying on trying to use up the ones that I have, um, but it's gone to a good home. That's all that matters to me. Next one I melted, which was, I think on Halloween, this was Rainbow Melt It's Alive, which is eucalyptus, spearmint and peppermint. I had a really bad nose that day, so this really wakes woke it up. I cut this into four and poor little ghosts but cut them to four. This was really strong considering I only had it on for an hour because I couldn't take any more than that. I threw the windows open um, and it was only a quarter of a melt. I'm really satisfied with the amount of um, throw I get from rainbow melts but it's so hard to get their items. I'm not even in their Facebook group because they won't accept me in for some reason. Um, but I do love the items I've tried, so we hoarding that one until I can get some more or a version of it. Next one I have is an empty, if I can find it. And this was a sample from Super Darts of Fluffy Violet Candy. Now this one I just literally put a thumbs up. I think I could smell the violet but it had a really sweet undernote and that would be the candy. Um, I'm glad I got to try it. A cube of it but I will not be purchasing it so it saved me about four dollars which is okay it's great in that consideration next one I've got is the Mounted Confections I don't know how to pronounce the name I think it's Dauph Dauphine or something like that it means Dauphine in French um, I tried a really massive slice of this and it was amazing so I've had to cut up all my other pieces this one I think is a lavender blend again well, she no longer makes any more wax, so I'm hoarding this. That's why I've cut it up smaller. Um, 
hoarding it until the very end, I'm afraid. No one will be getting any of this because I love it so much. So I still have four melts of that, which is amazing. Next one I've got, we did a bit of a blending. Um, it was on our group that we had to mix something we were, well, we had to melt something we were hoarding. And mine was BCS Pink Eyes and Finger Waves, which is Pink Sugar Marshmallow. This on its own is way too sweet for me. And it is one of the older ones as well. Um, it's way too sweet for me, so I decided to actually blend it. And I blended it with BCS Evil Queen. And Evil Queen is Mac Apple Lavender Cotton Candy, which actually did help. These two together really did make such a nice blend. I have no idea when I'll be able to get Pink Eyes and Finger Waves again, on its own at least. Evil Queen, I have two more pieces of, and I will be hoarding that as well. One of my favourites, I love that one. And the Mac Apple is very strong in that one as well, so if you don't like Mac Apple, probably not for you. Another empty I have is another clam. I am getting through these clams and I'm so proud of myself. Um, this one is Super Tarts Dream Girl. I had two cubes left which I melted. I do have a cube in my wax challenge in the next coming months so you will see it again. This one, if I remember rightly, is Sweet Mandarin Mimosas or something like that. It's an amazing girly scent. Very sweet, very floral. And you do smell the mandarin or oranges in it. This one I would consider repurchasing again, but I do have other favourites that I would repurchase first. So it's another clam gone, gone and down. The next one I am very disappointed in, which is a shame really. This one is Mermaid's Treasure UK Mermaid Kisses. This was a little loaf that I bought from her just literally when I started my wax melts. It's in my first ever YouTube video. And I'm sorry to say that this ended up turning into arse wax. And I hate saying that word. This was no throw, no scent, unless I literally had my nose almost touching the wax. And I suppose with Mermaid's Treasure you have to melt them as soon as possible, which also means that I need to go through my wax melts and see what I've got left of hers to melt, because I need to melt it soon. Especially if this one ended up turning into no throw. Which was a shame because I loved the scent of that. I think it was like watermelon something. Really upsetting, but I did enjoy it when I, I had it. Next one was an L3 that I actually do enjoy. And I was so glad when my friend sent me this one because I didn't have any of my own. And this one is Lavender Honeydew Whipped Cream. This was just a small chunk uh, cut from a block. This one is predominantly honeydew. The lavender and whipped cream are the like undernotes and it is a very strong throw. My room was filled as soon as it completely melted. I love this scent. If I could find this one again, I would, but I'm trying not to purchase from L3 anymore. Um, but I love that scent. It's one of the lavender blends that I do really love. Next one I've got is Black Label Mad Hatter. Now, I've only literally just done a video on this one. This is Mac Apple Shaving Cream. I did half a heart to fill my little room. It was perfect. It was still the scent that I remembered. I remember I did have a headache this day, that day, which is why I popped it on. And the Mac Apple is very strong, but the shaving cream does tone it down quite a lot. I love this scent. I will be hoarding this forever. <laughs> I have a lot of Mac Apple that I tend to try and hoard because I do like it so much. Uh, so that's that one. Next one is my last empty, and this one is Candy Panda Cozy Evening, which I remember is something like Earl Grey tea, chamomile, and something else. Um, this one was a thumbs up for me. It's a really strong thrower. You can even smell it just in the pot. The Earl Grey tea and chamomile. The mix of the two is amazing. And as soon as you walked into the room. You could smell that as well. Uh, I do have to use the whole scent shot of Candy Panda to get a great throw. And it does fill my room with the whole scent shot. So I'm not too bothered about that. I do have quite a few Candy Panda still to go. Until I have to buy some more. Um, that would be a repurchase for me actually. The next one is one that I have just spoke about in my last video. And that is VCS The Black Cat. 
Now the Black Cat is Cider Lane Whipped Cream, which is a scent I have never tried before. I've never tried anyone's Cider Lane. Um, but I thought because I like Mac Apple, I'll give this one a go, see what it's like. And it is very apple. It's a sweet apple with almost like a fizzy note underneath. I love this one. Um, I'm so glad I did manage to get my hands on some of it. I'm so grateful to the person that said she'd send half of it to me. And thank you to you know who you are. Um, this is a scent that I'm going to have to have forever. I have to try and purchase it somehow forever. <laughs> I love this one. So the rest of my bakery bag will be hoarded. Um, my last one is the one I'm currently melting, which is Wonderberry Lilac Sugar. Um, this is literally, if I remember rightly, lilac and cotton candy or something like that. In the pot, in the scent shop, it's very sweet. It's almost cotton candy, sugary, that sort of sweet. When it's melted, because I've currently got it melting, it's very lilac. If you like, don't like florals, you won't like this. But it's very nice. It's one that I'm glad I've got at least another half cent shot of. So yeah, that was my empties and melt reviews this this week. There's loads here. I didn't realise it was that piled up. It's an 11 minute video so far. Um, I'm going to carry on trying to push through as much as I can. I'm going to finish the rest of that air wick this, well, midday because I'm not going to be in my room as much. Um, so yeah, until the next video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.